Well, 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 look what we have here. Kelsey, also known as Meg Thee Stallion's ex-best friend, who has been missing in action since the night Meg allegedly got shot by fellow artist Tory Lanez, has made a diss song. What do I think of this diss track? Well, let's get into it. Alright? Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring that bell notification so we can squad up in the comments whenever I release a video. Now, let's jump right into Killer Kel's song, Bussin' Back. Killer Kel starts her song off by stating that the man meet of one Tory Lanez is costing Megan the Stallion. She goes on to say that if she had been the one who allegedly shot at Meg, that she'd be dead as a doorknob right now and that Meg knows exactly who really hurt her, even with her back turned to her assailant. Now this is the interesting part to me. Kelsey claims that she had been lied on to the district attorney's office that was overseeing the case. Kelsey claims that she has been accused of taking hush money. Wow. I do have to wonder if that is really the case because she really hasn't been too vocal on anything that has happened even after you might have heard Meg, Tory, and supposedly Tory's bodyguard. She really hasn't said anything at all up until this point. But wait, there's more. Killer Kel states that she was being threatened by someone saying that they would drop a sex tape of hers if she speaks out on what happened that fateful night in the Hollywood Hills. The fuck? Kelsey also goes on to say that Meg didn't do anything to clear her name in the situation and that Meg herself is lying to her label about what really happened that night. As far as I've been able to tell, Meg's people have been on her side since day one and very much not on Tory Lane's side. Well, that's all the bullet points for this song. And to be honest, I think it's smart on Kelsey's part to go after a bag. Now, Kelsey posted to her Instagram whilst releasing a song that she is built for this, but I cannot agree. This song is the highest grade of trash rap I've heard in quite some time. The bee's knees of baby boo boo to say the least. <laughs> you young lady, are not built for the music side of this, but you do seem to be built for the hustler side of the music business. You may have a future, kid. As far as what I think about how this can and will have an effect on Meg and Tori, there's going to be some long days in the court and something that seems so black and white, cut and dry, open and closed, may become very messy and embarrassing to all parties involved. One thing's for certain, it doesn't seem like Kelsey and Meg are going to be on the same side of things, which opens up more questions for me. Is Kelsey going to now be on Tory's side? I don't know. What serves her best? Shit, hell if I know. Now let's swerve over to more relevant music news. The numbers are back in on Meg's freshman release. I think I like the term freshman release more than debut album because these days the debut album is just the first album the label expects to sell well. BS, bullshit, but don't worry about Fever or Tina Snow. Those were just that one time you kissed a girl in college, baby. They don't count. Now looking at the numbers on our first week of sales, Meg raked up about 100,000 500 sales with 82,500 of those coming from streams. I heard the rumbling saying Meg should have done larger numbers, but I seriously doubt it. These are solid numbers coming in from Meg that say her at the number two album spot for the week. In my opinion, Meg is being built up as an act by her management in a way that artists used to have artist development back in the day. Although she had some mega hits on her hands with Beyonce assisted number one song and Savage Remix and a ride along hit with Cardi B, and why I don't think Meg has hit her ceiling with her career. In time, I think she will become an artist in the 300 to 500,000 in the first week sales department. But as of right now, that 100K is looking real good on her. Congratulations, Meg. You guys jump in the comments and let me know what you think is going on with Killer Kelsey and Megan Thee Stallion. Don't forget to like, subscribe, 
and ring that bell notification so you can be here whenever I drop a new video. Remember to check out my playlist. And with that being said, peace. I love you guys. Thank you.